Systems like Tognazini's Starfire or the more recent Curve and Bentdesk prototypes combine a horizontal surface and a vertical surface into a single, continuous desktop workspace. But using touch on a vertical surface directly is uncomfortable and quickly becomes exhausting. One comfortable solution is to use indirect touch instead. You create touch input on the horizontal surface in front of you and the output is displayed on the vertical screen. This works great, until you want to also use the horizontal surface as a display. Now you've got a mode switching problem. When you touch the horizontal surface, should that go directly to the horizontal display or indirectly to the vertical screen? We present two interaction techniques that use gaze to choose where each touch should be directed. Technique number one is called indirect touch surface selection. Your gaze determines the target surface and your touch is directed there using an absolute mapping from the touch surface to the screen. So if you look at the horizontal surface, you can directly interact with the objects displayed there. And if you look at the vertical surface, your touch is directed there and you can use indirect touch to work with objects on the vertical screen. Note that we only use the information where you're looking at the very moment you create a new touch. As soon as that touch is mapped to one surface, it stays there until you end that touch interaction by lifting your finger again. Technique number two is called indirect touch object selection. Here, you don't just use your gaze to determine the right display. Instead, you select an object on the screen just by looking at it, and now all touch events are mapped directly onto this object. If a touch is mapped to one object, it stays there until you release your finger from the touch screen. We conducted three experiments to compare how users perform using these two interaction techniques. We used the traditional way of working with both screens using direct touch as a baseline. In our tapping experiment, users had to constantly switch between tapping objects on the horizontal and vertical surface. In our dragging experiment, they had to drag objects across the horizontal or vertical surface. And in our cross-dragging experiment, they had to drag objects from the horizontal surface to the vertical surface and back. Mostly, our indirect touch object selection worked best. Although things get more complicated when people are dragging objects between surfaces. We also show that both interaction techniques easily extend to systems with more output surfaces.